him. See, prayer is more for us than it is for God. And the Bible teaches us that if we ask, we shall receive. If we seek, we shall find. And oh, if we knock, the door will be open to us. Come help me with this, James. James says, you have not because you ask not. And sometimes when you do ask, you ask amiss or for the wrong reasons. You, 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 you don't have because you either didn't ask or something wasn't right. Oh, it's not yet God's time. I'm convinced most people don't pray because they feel that prayer is a waste of time and that they're praying in vain. Let me tell you something. Prayer is never in vain. We are an action-oriented society. We have to see something. Well, let me tell you, if you want to see something, start praying. Because God wants to show you something. If you want to see miracles, start praying. Because God wants to show you something. God is waiting for an opportunity to put his power on display. If you pray, God will hear and he will answer your prayer. The story is told about a small town that had been historically a dry town. A, 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 a dry town. You, 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 you don't know what a dry town is. They, 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 they didn't sell alcohol. Uh, no, no liquor, no libations, no, no beer. Dry. A dry town. But then, a local businessman decided to build a tavern in the town. Then he got a permit to build a tavern in the town. A place where folk could go and drink. He built his tavern and a group of Christians from a local church were concerned. And they planned an all night prayer meeting to ask God to intervene. It just so happened that shortly after the prayer meeting, lightning struck the bar and it burned to the ground, fueled by all that alcohol. The owner of the bar, watch this, the owner of the bar sued the church claiming that the prayers of the congregation was responsible for his tavern burning down, but the church hired a lawyer to argue in the court that they were not responsible. The presiding judge, after his initial review of the case, stated, no matter One thing is clear. The club owner believes in prayer and the Christians do not. Thank you, Pastor Cleavon Darius, for writing a song about prayer. As I close, I want to tell you, don't take this song lightly. Don't the lyrics lightly. I know it sounds like a little country tune that we say, but don't take the lyrics lightly. This song was brilliantly written. Pastor, why do you say that? I say it because Clemont Derrick could say it. Talk to Jesus. 
But instead, he said, have a little talk with Jesus. Because prayer is not talking to God. Prayer is having a conversation with God. Because it's built on the basis of a relationship. Most people don't talk to God because they've been trained by their parents not to talk to him. I knew you'd get quiet there. Most people don't talk to God because they've been trained by mama and daddy don't talk to them. They've been told by mama and daddy don't talk to strangers. Mm. And if you don't know it, and don't have a relationship with him. Trying to talk to him will be like talking to a stranger. Don't let God be a stranger. Oh, I'm so glad that my prayer life is all right. And the reason why my prayer life is all right is because for me, God is not a stranger. I know him like I know the back of my hand. And I'm just wondering if there anybody else out there who can testify that you know the Lord. Anybody here know him?
there's anyone who does not know you in the pardon of their sin, we pray that they will have that little talk with you and invite you into their hearts. God, we ask a special blessing upon the sick, shut in, bereaved people everywhere. Give strength, give comfort, and give peace. In your name we pray. Amen. Graduation day is next Sunday. That's May 23rd, 11 a.m. If you have a graduate, high school or college that's graduating this year, please give the church a call with their names before Tuesday, May 18th. For in-house worship on Sunday the 23rd, the registration form will be online this evening. Please pre-register before attending. We're asking the Lord's blessing upon several of our members who are suffering bereavement. Sister Everly Hayden lost a sister here in Little Rock. Arrangements are family hour Thursday at Griffin Leggett from 6 to 8 p.m. Homewood celebration is Friday at 12 noon at Shiloh Baptist Church, North Little Rock. We're continuing to be in prayer for Sister Denise McFadden. We had a wonderful homegoing celebration for Deacon Charles McFadden on yesterday. We're continuing to be in prayer for Sister Carla Estes in the passing of her aunt on yesterday. Brandy, if you're watching, I'm sure you are. We love you. We're continuing to pray for you along with so many of our members who are sick and shut in. We want you to know that God will hear and answer your prayers if you'll have a little talk with him. Ways to give should be printed on the screen. Please be faithful to the Lord and to his church. Until next time, God bless you. We love you.